In this Composer Notes tutorial, we'll set up the Profile Engine in an F4T controller. The Profile Engine block is available in the library when the controller has the Profiles option. A profile is a set of instructions consisting of a sequence of steps. When a profile runs, the controller automatically executes these steps in sequence. Controllers with the profiling feature let users create time-based programs that change control loop set points and output states. The Profile Engine function block connects to inputs, outputs, and other controller features so that they can be used with profiles. For example, the set points of control and cascade loops connected to the Profile Engine can be varied by running a profile. Outputs connected to the Profile Engine can be turned on and off by profile events. Inputs connected to the Profile Engine can be monitored for specific values or states for which the profile is programmed to wait. Because the options in a profile are determined by the other blocks to which the profile engine is connected, you cannot create profiles before first setting up the profile engine. This tutorial assumes the inputs, outputs, and control loops to be used are already set up. To set up the profile engine, first add it from the library to the canvas. Connect the analog inputs that provide feedback to the loops you want to use in profiles to the PV receivers at the top left of the engine. Pay attention to where you connect them because this determines the order the loops appear in the profile view. For example, if you want a loop that controls temperature to be first and a loop that controls humidity to be second, connect the temperature signal to PV1 and the humidity signal to PV2. You'll need to connect the corresponding set point transmitters to the control loop's profile set point receivers so the profile engine can set the set points of the loops when a profile is running. If you connected a temperature sensor to PV1, then connect the set point transmitter SP1 to the loop that controls temperature at its profile set point receiver labeled PSP. If you connected a humidity sensor to PV2, then connect SP2 to the humidity loop's PSP receiver. You can connect up to four loops for use with profiles. With one or more loops connected, you can start creating and running profiles, but if you want profiles to be able to turn outputs on and off or wait until specific conditions are detected by digital or analog inputs, you should connect these inputs and outputs first. To be able to have a profile wait for a specific temperature, connect the input for the temperature sensor to one of the event input receivers. They're labeled EVT1 through EVT4. Similarly, to be able to wait for a digital input, connect the input block to an event input receiver. To be able to turn a device on and off at various steps in the profile, connect the block for the output that operates the device to one of the event output transmitters labeled EVT1 through EVT8. That's the basics of configuring the profile engine. Now you can create profiles that use the loops, inputs, and outputs that you've connected. One last thing that makes it easy for users is to give the inputs, outputs, and loops names that users will understand because these are the names that show up in the profile view. Set the name for the event outputs in the profile engine. For more about what you can do with the profile engine, such as configuring the power failure recovery parameters, see the help and the controller manual. There are more Composer Notes tutorials for other function blocks coming up.